Hello everyone, welcome back to the Perkins Engineering YouTube channel. This is episode number 53. So, trucking along here. I uh, hope you enjoyed um, our last few episodes, obviously finishing the 93 car, shaking down a Calder, uh, preparations for Bathurst, getting it to Bathurst, filming at Bathurst, all the in-car stuff. The, the feedback over the last couple of months has been great and it's been awesome to take you along on the journey. Um, now, I promised a new t-shirt. And I'm proud to say that we've got that t-shirt here. And it's from those of you that watch the, the Call to Park Shakedown. We've got a quote of LP saying, the effing steering heavy. And we've got a cartoon drawing done of him sitting in the car. So pretty cool t-shirt. That's available online now. Check out our online store, perkinsengineering.com.au. Click on the latest product section and you'll find it in there with a bunch of other stuff that we've been uploading um, this past week. So there's a fair bit of stuff on there that may tickle your fancy. We've also got the Perkins Engineering retro trucker caps in stock. There's a few of them left, and there's only a limited run of those t-shirts. So jump online and you'll be able to snag one of these or potentially one of the hats or some other bits and pieces. Uh, in this episode, um, we wanna to touch on what's next. We get a lot of people asking after the 93 project, 93 car, the 93 Bathurst car, um, what's next? And um, those of you that have followed us will realize we've Still got the 1994 car, which I want to show you in this episode. And now the um, HRT car has kind of taken center stage in this particular area of the workshop. And the 94 car is up on the hoist behind me. So I'll show you that. So I'll run through where we're up with those two cars, give you a bit of an update and what's to come. So let's go and have a look. This is the 2015 Gold Coast winning Holden Racing Team Commodore that I myself shared with James Courtney. And uh, this is a really cool car. It looks like it's complete, finished, ready to go, but it's not. We've got a few things to do with this car. The gearbox transaxle is actually being used by Walkinshaw Andretti United's Super 2 team, so it doesn't have the gearbox in it. So we'll be jacking this car up, taking all the wheels off and start some prep work um, once that gearbox is ready to go back in. Uh, I've still got a little bit of guard damage here we're going to fix from when it ran at Phillip Island. So we've got a pair of guards ready to fit to the car. And uh, yeah, once that transax is back in, this thing's ready to rock and roll. So looking forward to doing some more work on that and getting it ready to rock. We ran that at Phillip Island last year and uh, it was really good fun to drive. We got to stick Dad in it and he had a good time. So yeah, once we get it back going again with the gearbox in it, We'll pick another event and, and give it a run. So looking forward to that. And over here on the hoist is the 1994 Bathurst VP Commodore uh, third place. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this now that we've finished off the 93 car. And it's not too far away, to be honest. Um, the calipers have been taken off because we, when we did all the steering um, alignment and everything on the other car and made our bump steer spaces, we also did it for this car. So the spaces are ready to fit and then we'll put our calipers back on, fit the brake ducts and the front suspension will be um, just about done. And then there's just a few odd jobs. So that we know the windscreens were fitted. We've got the Perkins window banner to fit to the top and um, then we'll tidy off some interior jobs. Uh, which just includes some of the wiring from the ECU, which you can see over there in the corner, um, to the firewall and then to the engine. So we'll have Chris from Custom Wiring and Electrical back here um, to, to help us with that. And then the back of the car, the back suspension and in the boot is basically all done. Um, some bits and pieces on the bodywork that will tidy up, but principally, yeah, looking forward to getting this car on track. It's the first um, of our Chevy-powered cars, 1994 in third place and uh, yeah, different roll cage designs and bits and pieces. So really looking forward to, to getting stuck into this. It's a car that we've been doing for a customer and uh, see they've been very patient with us. And um, yeah, we've got a few things to finish off. I'll see if I can pop the bonnet up there. And you see the uh, Chevy engine there. We've got a, a, he a header tank um, oh, header tank's obviously over there, but I've got a little swirl pot. We've got a manufacturer for the Chevys, which sits between the, the top thermostat housing and the radiator, so that'll sit in there. And um, finish off, like I said, our wiring, and we'll get the uh, engine running, and that'll be a good time. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can get a lot of this done before Christmas. 
which we're very excited about. And um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll go through the same uh, procedure. We'll give this car an on-track shakedown. And um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's been a great, great time doing both the VPs. Be sad to see them go. And uh, look at this little old Castrol uh, lubrication service we've got here. Pretty cool piece of uh, old workshop equipment just to complement what we do with Castrol. Thank you very much. And uh, so that's it. That's our projects coming up. Um, see us through to the end of the year and into, into next year. So um, stay tuned and thanks for the support.